Hi everyone, RC Engine Joe here. Today I'm going to review the new Tower Hobbies F4U Corsair. I'm going to take a look at it here, open the box, and as I see it, you'll see it. It's brand new, hasn't been opened, so we're, we're going to see how it is. Here's the box as shipped. Just a plain box with a decal stuck to it. And it came in good shape, wasn't too beat up by UPS or anything. All right, so the next phase, I'll open the box and we'll take a look. Okay, so here's the Tower Hobbies F4U Corsair uh, in the box with the lid tanking off. Looks pretty nice. Packaging is good. It's in, uh, it's all plastic wrapped and surrounded by some foam. Now I cut the tape off of these foam holders here just so we can pull this out quickly. So we'll pull that out. All right, and here it is inside the box. Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna pull it out of the plastic and uh, we'll put it on my makeshift stand here so we can get a better look at it. All right. Okay, so here's the Tower Hobbies F4U Corsair out of the box and out of the plastic. Uh, of course, this is just the body. Looks really nice. Uh, the coloring is very nice. It's got a nice color, two-tone. You can kind of see this here. Two-tone on the bottom. Very nicely done. I'm pretty impressed. It has a really cool pilot figure here that it comes with. See if I can get that without too much glare. Nice decals. Now some of these Corsair models come in a paint scheme is way too dark. It doesn't really look like a real Pacific base F4U Corsair. This looks really nice. Looks like the engine cowl here kind of come off. Showing the engine, motor, electric motor, brushless. Now I'm a little concerned about the stock brushless motors that come with these planes, they're sometimes underpowered. So part of this review, I'm gonna stick a meter on here, power meter, so we can see how much power it's generating with the propeller that comes with it. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the box. In the box here, pretty simple manual, not too thick. It looks like we got propeller here and uh, I think this is a 9 by 4.5 propeller I'll see how that works it's uh, strong enough and then of course some some land, foam tire landing gears here and then the wing so I'm gonna pull the wing out I'm just gonna kind of fit it on here so we can get an idea what it looks like all right Oh yeah, one last thing here, the cow, you know, it's, it's got a fake radial motor insert. Looks pretty cool, you yeah, know, looks really good. And again, there's, there's that two-tone paint scheme, actually three-tone there on the cow. All right. Okay, so here's the gull wing for the Tower Hobbies F4U Corsair, and of course the tail section. Again, looks pretty nice. Uh, only one decal on the one wing, left wing. Flip this over. Again, we have the multi two tone color scheme here in the bottom. You got your holes for your landing gear. It's got two servos pre installed for the ailerons. Pretty nice. Too much work there. All right. Okay, so the F4U Corsair's wingspan was a little too long to keep on my bench, so I had to move down here to the floor. As you can see, I put it all together. I just kind of fit the wing on right now. It's not bolted in, and I just kind of slipped the tail on as well, so you can get an idea. Looks pretty nice. A couple of things. Um, the canopy, the cockpit canopy, was a little tricky to get off. 
I really had to finesse it and you got to kind of be careful with it because it is foam and it's soft so it was really tight uh, also putting the wing on the the bottom uh, back portion of the wing that fit really tight too against the fuselage so you might have to sand a tiny bit of uh, foam off of there so it gives you a little bit better of a fit but overall looks pretty nice I'm impressed okay so here's the F4U Corsair uh, the next step is going to be performing some bench testing I'm going to connect the motor and the propeller and the battery and all that stuff uh, do some measurements on it see how much power it's producing and then I'm going to compare it to this guy this is my P51 brushless uh, this plane's a good flyer it's all been worked out it's real strong strong motor I actually replaced the stock motor that was in that with uh, you know off the shelf better brushless I'm presuming I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this I'd like not to but uh, as I found uh, trying many of these ready to fly planes the brushless motor that comes with it is just underpowered and you launch the plane and it goes right into the ground so I'll do some measuring before we actually toss it in the air just to make sure everything's okay okay so on the bench here I have the F4U Corsair I've got everything hooked up I've got the battery the ESC the receiver the propeller all that good stuff we're ready to rock and roll I've added one more thing this is my watts up power meter and I'm going to use it today to measure the power that the brushless motor and the propeller are generating. I'm hoping to get about 150 to 200 watts out of this. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see what we get. Now on the F4U Corsair, the ESC that comes with it has a safety feature. You have to give it full throttle. You'll hear a beep, then you have to go back to minimum throttle. You'll hear two beeps and it's ready to go. Holding it tight. Okay, that really feels good. It's got a lot of power. It feels like it wants to launch right off the stand here. That's a good thing. Uh, looks like it's measuring Let's see as it scrolls around 247 watts peak now that's with a pretty fresh battery this is a 11.1 uh, volt 3 cell lipo 1300 milliamp battery so it looks good I think it's gonna fly well stock the way it is uh, my P51 Mustang is only producing about 150 to 160 watts peak, so this is actually producing more power. Uh, can't wait to fly it. I think it'll work really well. Thanks for watching.